All right, morning, guys. Um, some asshat yesterday on the freeway threw their cigarette out, and now we have a forest fire out here in the northwest. So it's the smoke's real low. Um, it's already affected me. You can hear it in my voice. Uh, I don't feel good this morning. But uh, we're going to get started on this project. Um, first thing I'm going to do this morning is mix up some concrete and... Uh, um, I made a board to hold the bolt in place so it doesn't fall down in the hole. I'll show you guys that real quick. So I just took a Forstner bit and cut this out and then used my saw and cut that out. That'll go around the head of the bolt. So we're going to get that hole, get some concrete in there, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I am way the hell up in the air. I don't know if you can see Tyler or not, but this is what I'm filming. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from this power. And here's one of the dead heads installed, dead ends, I mean. It's wrapped around this cable and I'm making up the last little bit right here. I have to get those all um, separated and wrapped around. And then I'll probably get a ferrule of some kind so that doesn't come apart. Uh, one sec. I got a spider or some shit in my eye. Anyways, guys, um, I'm like 
15 feet off the ground. There's the hardware drilled in, like that. There's the power, live power. Don't want to touch that nastiness. And uh, so we're just going to get this terminated, and then we'll get the turnbuckle in here in a little bit. Uh, this is super freaky, so... Hi, Tyler. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. All right, guys. Here's my homemade mount. Basically what it is, it's a piece of one inch copper pipe crimped down and folded over. Let me see if I can get that. Damn it. <clears throat> I'm fine. Alright guys, let's try this again. So that's my folded over connection and then there's a piece of heat shrink tubing that's going to go on top of it and I'll do that real quick. Okay guys, you'll have to forgive the shakiness. I'm trying to do this all at the same time. So I got my torch on. Got my heat shrink adjusted There it is, guys. Connection made. All right, that's super hot, but that's heat shrunk, one inch heat shrink with glue. Guys, I'm back up on the pole. There's no way I can show you all this all at once. However, right there, this is the ferrule I made. It's too big, so I pinch it over with those big pliers. And then once I pinch it over and fold it, then I'll heat shrink it um, onto this. I mean, I'll use that heat shrink there. So I'm gonna pause you guys. All right, so using the big pliers, that's how it's crimped. Now I'm gonna fold that over that way. So I can't show you that because it takes two hands. All right, so for the sake of simplicity, I've already shrunk that down. So I'm gonna now shrink it the rest of the way. I got it a little too hot. Sorry guys, I had to switch hands. That's just to keep it from unwinding. It's ugly as hell though. All right guys, that's the end of that. That one's done. That one way down. Oh. And then that one way down there is done. All right guys, I'm in my work clothes and I'm sweaty. So you'll have to forgive me for that. Um, I'm gonna do a second video on this dead, dead end. I feel like the first one was up on the ladder and was kind of hectic. So the way this works, you start this by, I start it just above the paint line, the first paint line. And um, you start the small end first, so that's actually this end. And basically you hold it in place and you get a wrap started. And sometimes it'll want to come out, but you can sort of force it back in. Alright guys, back to what I was saying. So, 
I wrap this down a ways, maybe halfway on one side. Get this on here to about uh, maybe like there. And then what you want to do is match up the paint marks. So I always get confused and go on the wrong side. So I think um, I'll bring you guys in for a little closer shot here. All right. So we'll get a little, a little closer here. So there's paint marks here and here. And you're actually going to match those up and to start this thing. And you're just going to work your way down. It's pretty stiff. Now when you get down to where they match, what I was told in the video and it kind of works is you split out half the uh, you split out half of the strands into its own separate component and you do that first so you run that down because it's hard to get the ends to snap around. And I'm gonna uh, move you guys back a little bit so you can hopefully see it again. I'll go ahead and finish out that run. The shorter end gets finished first. And you gotta make sure they all snap in, all three of them. And then I'll go ahead and wrap this down a little further. Sometimes you have to kind of bend the cable opposite of the twist. Now, separate out these three. And we'll finish them. Come on, snap around. And then the last three. All right, and then I make a copper end. So I'll bring you guys back in close for that one. All right, guys. So you can see this end right, uh, right here and the cable comes up to right there and you can see the paint marks and then what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at uh, let's see if I can get you guys in here all this crap we're going to be looking at making up that end right there alright guys bear with me here so I got a small copper ring. All the ring does is not to hold it in place. It's just to keep it from unraveling. So I take these giant, ridiculously giant pliers and crimp the copper ring over until it's flat. And then I bend it over like a little wedding band. And... I crush it down flat. Adjust it one down. Alright, and then last thing I do is slide my heat shrink over. done there and that's it that keeps the copper from I mean the 
strands from ever accidentally unwinding. I think that'd be uh, sweet if the power pole industry adopted that technique, but probably not. Anyways, this end's done. Uh, off camera, I screwed up and forgot to put the uh, um, uh, off camera. I screwed up and forgot to put the turnbuckle on, so uh, that's now been put on and all that good stuff. So that was a whoops on my part. One of the lessons I learned, you want to make up the end that goes down to your, um, your uh, thimble eye bolt. Uh, because this ended up being too long, trying to make it up from the pole, especially since I'm going to pull the pole back. So make up the bottom end first, get your turnbuckle on there, and then cut the top down to length after you've got it pulled back. So this will be it for right now until we get to tensioning this thing. Talk to you guys later.